Thank you, Paul. Oh, even in my favorite Christmas film. Yeah. Transsetter. Whoa. League of my own. It don't get better. No. Read what I wrote. I'm a bestseller. Yeah. Reach for my goals. Hit it dead center. Hit it dead center. Dominic from Cage Steel and this is Forging Steel where we take you behind the scenes to look at everything we do to make the show happen. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to find out when we post more videos. I think gym visits, I think I've got to say that these are my favourite thing. Um, we got together as a team, we go out, take the mess out of each other for an hour or so while we're driving. Um, we have a really good laugh with like the coaches, the, the fighters. We get to see them train. You know, you're in, in that gym environment, which I love anyway. I love the kind of networking side of it with all the all the different people in the gym. Um, yeah, it's just a just a real good fun time. So yeah, I think I think it's got to be my certainly up there. One of my favourite things that we do. So by getting in the gyms. You know, you, you kind of you're actually face to face with these these gym owners, the coaches, the fighters. Um, there's so much can be said for face to face. You're actually having that that kind of proper in, in, interaction, uh, discussing things like how you can promote each other, how you can help each other, how the gym can benefit, how the fighter can benefit, and how Cage Show can benefit, and then um, how we can make that at the end of the day the most important people which are the fans. I've got a few roles when we go out to visit fighters in the gyms. So I'm there to support Jordan uh, with his content creation, make sure that we get all the footage that we need of the fighters, be able to promote them. I catch up with the fighters too, help them with their social media. It's obviously a huge part of MMA now to be able to promote yourself and engage with your community. And then I also catch up with the coaches and managers too uh, in terms of the matchmaking side of things. So personally, I think these gym visits are the best part of the show campaign. I think it's amazing that we go all across the country to these different gyms, uh, seeing these fighters, seeing the coaches. So my role when visiting gyms is to capture all the content that goes out on our behind the scenes, uh, on our social media and on our global online broadcast. The team started to take over and stuff, so I wasn't interviewing fighters anymore. I wasn't kind of doing all that kind of video stuff. So it kind of left me free to, I'd say, network, you know, speak to these coaches and kind of get to know them and let them know our philosophy and what we're up to, and like the not for profit side of things and, and everything that Cage Steel are doing. So I think it sounds a bit weird saying networking for kind of gym and things like that but I suppose that is my role. A big part of going to the gym visits is to speak to fighters and help educate them with how to promote themselves on social media, give them some inspiration with some posts as well. Um, it's not just about promoting the fight and us as an organisation, it's about helping them to promote themselves too. This has a great long lasting effect on their career. So this is something that we've always always kind of put time and effort into. Yes, it costs money to travel out there, to take the team out there. It costs money, it costs money, and more importantly, time. But we feel that we need to grow the fighters. We can grow the fighters, we can grow their, their kind of offering, their social media networks. It ultimately helps us. So it's about making the fighters famous more than the promotion if you like so that they can uh, they can propel themselves really and, and get on to where they want to go in terms of goals you know some people have different goals in terms of different promotions um, and, and we kind of want to help them get to those goals so yeah our, our whole thing is to, to kind of build the fighters make them famous and then obviously that gives people a great night out so I use I use my filming in a way that's exciting to the eye and impactful for viewers. Although when I'm filming it, it does kind of look a bit strange. It's because when I'm getting these these sharp shots with my camera, I'm kind of like flicking it to one side, I'm kind of bringing it up or whatever, and the fighters just looking at me like, did we get that all right? And I'm like, yeah, we got it perfect. So my aim is to make fighters look good on camera. I do that in ways where 
I kind of instruct them to do different positions, different actions, and really bring out the personality. Where are we going today then? Screw this bit. Birmingham. <laughs> We're just going to Birmingham, no reason. Just thought we'd have a day out. <laughs> We're going to a Renegade, a gym in Birmingham. Quite a few fighters see there. Um, is this our first gym visit? Yeah, it is. Yeah. First gym visit of Cage Still 34. We thought we'd got some, some others arranged, didn't we, last week? They all kind of fell through. So it's like, busy. Week. All this week. Yeah. So when there's a storm due. Yeah, we're the storm. We are. <laughs> Head <Yeah>. kick, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching to find Cage 2 for a while. I want to fight the even amateur. Like they have a big stadium. It's iconic. They have the orange cage that like stands out. And it's it's a well-respected title. Our session's underway at Renegade. We're all warmed up now, about 20 so A few familiar faces have fought the cage so before, and some famous faces. Here we are, the home of TFT in CM Teesside. Let's go on now. See what's happening. Okay, can you do sharp shots like a, a body hook and then head hook for me? Yeah, yeah. Which side? Do you want boom, boom or this side? Um, whichever one you want. Alright. Okay. Good? Yep. And next one, we can just do sharp kicks. And last final bit, all up 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 2, and 1. What, what was that you just said? Kiem. What does that mean? Home. Kiem. I'm going to Kiem. I'm going to Kiem. Okay. So, Sam Brown, oh, you don't yeah. usually put a lot on Facebook no. or Instagram because you're worried about people not understanding. Yeah, people have been understand us, yeah. So, uh, this is going to help help you. Wheeze the yeah. tartany. What? Wheeze the tartany. Who are you talking now? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what they say. <laughs> Wheeze the tartany. Uh, why I? I mean, yes, basically. Why I? <laughs> yes, basically. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean? You know, it's similar. You've gone about this. I, yeah, I'm very careful with it because, like, loads of people go, Oh, you're a Geordie! And it's like, it's a massive insult to someone, yeah. someone to say you're a Geordie. But like, Middlesbrough, 
sound nothing like us. Yeah. Like they're like their own entity, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> it's like they sound nothing like the North East. I don't know. We've just done a language lesson or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I told you about the Mackens and Brackens. Yeah. I? Yeah, the shipyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how it came from. Yeah, well, the shipyard just down there. Is it? Yeah, this no. is more, this is, you, you, these sound more like Sunderland, obviously way close to Sunderland we are you, that's the only thing. Yeah. If you put a Geordie next to like one of us, you'd, you'd be a lot more broad, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'd pick to say, like, if Newcastle, it's like, bye. <laughs> they stage it to explain the, the whole thing, like, yeah. uh, really I'm not, but I am, but I'm close to Sunderland and I'm Newcastle and you know what I mean, you understand it. Have you picked up any of those? I just say it all the time. They don't know what the fuck he's just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like it sounds it sounds stupid. Like, and in Australia, when I went back at Christmas, I was saying I was just saying I all the time, and everyone's like, I feel like in Australia, some people like you know what, like loads of words became popular because of Geordie Shaw. Yeah, people yeah. always try and like yeah. copy it. Like, like uh, do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Geordie Shaw is definitely Yeah. Same colour as his hair as well. So just, uh, <laughs> Talking <laughs> about the fl fish flops. Keeping the gym safe. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be the best. That's going to be the most random. That's going to be the baddest. Yeah. 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 They've got chlamydia, haven't they? Look at that. <laughs> 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 They've got chlamydia. Yeah. 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 Way to ABT Morley Leeds. We're going to see Adam Bramold. Um, those that know Cage Deal will know Adam Bramold. Um, had some amazing fights on our show. Destined for big things. Should be on the biggest of the promotions. How was it matching? What was it like, man? <laughs> Don't give me that face. Yeah, the sound. <laughs> we daddy is here. It won. <laughs> we had literally everyone all over the world looking for this fight. Adam is so hard to match. He's got a huge win streak at the moment that people look at. He's world champion, he's defended it, he's proven himself. Uh, it's been an hard, hard guy to match, really. So what, what people got to realise is, is how many people around the world were actually helping us to try and match this fight. Yeah. It, it was, you know, people just thought different countries across the world <coughs> trying, to, uh, trying to sort it. Hi Danny. Are you going to get me down? Hi Paul. Okay, yeah, good thanks, yeah. Well, what just happened is we turned up and Charlie spent the dad was watching and he's just come to McDonald's to get us some coffee. So, all's good. All's good in the home. Yeah, move around and then... Thank you, Paul. Look, even in my favourite Christmas store. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bramall, how you doing? All right. No All introductions. Right. I don't think we need introductions. Yeah, I don't think we need them on this stage, do we? <laughs> For those that don't know, Adam Bramall fighting out of ABT. Caught with him today. He took a day off work to train and do a bit of this. A day off work to train at a normal time, not bloody six in the morning. Yeah, hectic. It's a hectic life, you know, for me. I have a lot of commitments, like... 24 hours a day almost you know I, I don't I don't live and I don't, I don't you know I don't have time to come to every session I have to fit everything in where I can it's the way of life isn't it it's not an unhappy busy life it's a structured hectic life you, know, you appreciate your weekend you put it that way you appreciate your weekend 
So yeah. oh, that wasn't that went on, didn't it? Yeah. So it became, became, became a conversation know, rather yeah. than a fight interview. I don't mind that. I'd prefer that. I prefer that. Yeah, it's yeah. loose. It's, it's better to do something like that rather yeah. than just like yeah, you can take loads of bits out of that. That's it. But like, I'm just say right, how are you feeling about your fight? You're fighting this guy, you know, it's like yeah, yeah, go just just stop. <laughs> oh yeah. no, yeah. <laughs> Let's start shadow boxing, nice and easy. Two and one. Nice. And if I can get you standing in the middle, I'll be a little bit more back. A little bit more back, 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 back. And then when I say go, just walk to this line. Yep, go. Yeah, top one. 